getting into lesson three uh, here in module two. Lesson three is kind of a potpourri or kind of a buffet of a few different things. In lesson three, we're going to work on evaluating expressions. We're going to work on writing expressions in standard form and in words. Um, and then we're also going to work on doing some modeling of expressions. Uh, so a little bit of everything and uh, here we go. Okay, here we go, buddies. Um, here, I cut that off, but um, here we're being asked to model. Um, and then also write the expression. Write the expression. So I'll just write out those instructions. Um, and in case you forgot, we are looking at lesson three on uh, 10, 17, 18. Okay. So here we're looking at the sum of eight and seven doubled. So it doesn't matter if you do your modeling first or your expression first. I'm going to have, go ahead and write my expression first. The sum is a fancy word for the answer to an addition problem. So I'm looking for the sum of eight and seven. I'm going to protect the sum of eight and seven with parentheses because we're going to double it, meaning we're going to multiply it by two. So we, here we have the sum of 8 and 7 doubled or multiplied by 2. And I'm going to show that very simply with my model. This is not the only way to model this expression. This is my way of modeling. As long as your modeling is uh, mathematically sound, as long as it, your model connects um, with the expression, you are good. This is how I'm going to model. So here this section represents 8 plus seven or the sum of eight and seven. And then I'm going to write and draw, try to draw an exact replica here. So I have eight plus seven here and I have eight plus seven here. Oh yeah, um, that one's done. Model and write the expression. Now let's look at B. Four times the sum of 14 and 26. Here we see that keyword again, sum. Actually I'm gonna change my ink. Uh, the sum again is the answer to an addition problem. So I'm looking for the sum of 14 and 26, which means that we're adding. I'm going to protect the sum of 14 and 26 with parentheses because we're looking for four times that. So when we're evaluating this, we will find the sum first and then we will multiply the sum by four. As far as our modeling goes, my model is going to look like this. I have one section that represents the sum of 14 and 26, and then I'm going to draw four copies of that. And I'm going to try to make them look proportional. I'm going to try to make them look the same so it's visually pretty obvious. So here is the sum of 14 uh, plus 20, or the sum of 14 and 26. We have the same here, here, and here. I guess I can represent, you know, maybe this with a circle all rectangles with a circle inside represent uh, the sum of 14 and 26. And maybe with eight and seven, I can say, okay, eight and seven are represented by a triangle. So any rectangle uh, with a triangle inside represents this sum of eight and seven. Cool stuff, let's look at a couple more here. Okay kiddos, here we are still uh, doing the same, we have the same instructions. We need to model and write the expression. we are looking at a bit more complex expressions, but do not fear, you can handle it, we can handle it. Uh, here in E, we're looking at the difference between four 25s and three 25s. This magic word difference means that we will be subtracting. So we're looking at the difference subtracting between four copies of 25 and three copies of 25. Four 25 is the same as four times 25. Three 25 is the same as three 25s. We're looking for the difference between those. In order to model this, we are going to look at, we're going to be comparing to rectangles. The first one is going to be my four 25s. 
I have one, two, three, four, twenty-five. So I'm labeling these a little bit differently. But that's very clearly four twenty-fives. And then we are going to be comparing that to three twenty-fives. So I have one, two, three twenty-fives. We are looking for the difference between these. So I'm going to draw one of these fancy signs and I'm going to put a question mark. The difference lies in this blank space. What is the difference between 425s and 325s? That is represented by that question mark. Um, very cool. Let's look at F. Triple the sum of 33 and 27. Well, Mrs. Calamaris, I know the sum means the answer to an addition problem. So I'm looking for the sum of 33 and 27. Notice how I write down the operation first as soon as I pull out those keywords. The sum of 33 and 27 triple. Triple means we're multiplying by 3. We're looking for 3 times the sum of 33 and 27. Well, let's go ahead and change our color. Um, I'm going to represent the sum of 33 and 27 with one block. I'm going to put a star so that you know anything within a star, any block with that has a star inside is going to be uh, represented by the sum of 33 and 27. We're looking for triple that, so we're looking for a total of three copies of the sum of 33 and 27. So star represents 33 plus 27. I will have one, two, three copies of the sum of 3327 here in my model. Okay, so I wanted to take a look at just a couple of these. Let's look at a um, C and D. Um, here we are still getting the same practice, um, but as you guys can see, uh, we are looking at three different expressions that we need to write in words, and then we're going to solve the expression or find the value of the expression. And of course, um, just like with our modeling, these can be, we, we can read this expression in, in a few different ways. One way to read this expression is to read it as um, the sum, or write it as the sum of, 2.5 and 13.5 multiplied by 10. The sum of 2.5 and 13.5 multiplied by 10. We need to evaluate that. So first we need to do whatever is inside the parentheses. So we need to add our 13.5 together with our 2.5. I'm lining up my decimal so neatly. 5 plus 5 is 10. 4, 3 plus 1 is 4, plus 2 is 6. And then we have our 1. We bring our decimal point completely down. Now we're looking at 16 times 10. 16 times 1 is 16, but that's not a 1, it's 10. So the value the final answer is going to be 160. This is uh, getting some good uh, practice that we, we, some further practice that we were working on today in lesson two. Uh, so this is really important, continuing to use these mental strategies to multiply numbers by powers of 10. Um, okay, let's look at C now. So here I see two numbers being added together. So we are looking for the sum this time we're looking for the sum of 71 and 29. I'm going to use a different word. Instead of multiply, I'm going to say times 26. The sum of 71 and 29 times 26. Let's go ahead and evaluate our expression. So let's look for the sum of 71 and 29. 9 plus 1 is 10. Carry the 1. 7 plus 1 is 8. Plus 2 is 10. So we need to multiply now 100 by 26. 71 plus 29 here is 100, and now we need to multiply 100 by 26. No problem. I know 26 times 1 is 26. 
but that's not a 1, it's 100, so 100 times 26 is 2600, which I hope makes sense because ultimately what we're looking for here is 26 copies of 100, 2600. Let's look at one more here. So here we're, we ha I see a sum, but I also see multiple copies. I see uh, 15 being multiplied by 2 and 50 being multiplied by 2. Um, so let's go ahead and say that we are looking at um, 50 copies of, actually, you know, I would prefer, instead of 50 copies of 2, you guys, can you think of another way? I don't know why my, instead of 50 copies of two, I'm going to go ahead and make a decision and say two copies of, that's right, 50. Two copies, oops, of 50 added two. I could have used the word sum, but I'm going to use added added to two copies of 15. There's a few different ways we can write it. I chose to write it this way. Two copies of 50 added to two copies of 15. Let's go ahead and evaluate that. 50 times two. So if you have 50 cents, uh, if you have 50 cents in your hand, maybe two quarters, and then you make, a, and then you receive um, another copy of 50 cents. I'm not, I'm not wording that very well. Um, let's do this. So if I have 50 cents, keep in mind we don't have 50 cent coins, and we make, we end up with two copies of 50 cents, what are we going to end up with? 100. Okay, so 50 times 2 is 100. We're going to add that to two copies of 15. I feel like most of us can probably do that in our head. If you can't, there's no shame in doing that um, here on the side. 15 plus 15 is 30. Ultimately, what we're looking at here is 100 plus 30, which is 130. So here we have our words. We have our value of the expressions or our, our e expressions evaluated. Um, also, don't forget the secret word. I'm going to say our secret word is 50 cents. 50 cents is our secret word as I was trying to carry out two copies of 50 cents over here in D. So secret word is this illustration right here, 50 cents. Can't wait to practice this with you guys tomorrow. Have a great night.